What if I told you that by 2050, the idea of a school as we know it might not even exist? No more classrooms, no more textbooks. Maybe not even teachers in the traditional sense. In today's video, we're exploring the future of education. And trust me, it's a lot closer and a lot stranger than you think. Part one, how we got here. Before we talk about the future, we have to understand the present. Today's school system was designed during the Industrial Revolution over 150 years ago. Rows of desks, standardized tests, fixed curriculums, all built to produce factory workers who followed instructions and didn't question authority. So, but the world has changed. Factories are automated. Information is everywhere. The skills we need now, creativity, adaptability, critical thinking, aren't easy to measure with a multiple choice test. In short, the system is outdated and the cracks are getting harder to ignore. Part two, technology is breaking the old model. Technology isn't just changing education, it's tearing down the old playbook. With high-speed internet, online learning platforms like Coursera, Khan Academy, and EDX have exploded. Students can learn coding from MIT professors or study AI from Stanford, all without ever stepping into a classroom. AI tutoring systems can now personalize lessons based on each student's strengths, weaknesses, and pace. A classroom of 30 kids moving at the same speed? Obsolete. Meanwhile, VR and AR are transforming how we experience subjects. Imagine studying ancient Egypt by actually walking through a VR reconstruction of the pyramids, or learning biology by shrinking down to cellular level and exploring the human body from the inside. Traditional education is not just being supplemented by tech. In many ways, it's being replaced by it. Part three, the rise of skills over degrees. Here's a hard truth. In the future, your degree might not matter as much as you think. More and more companies, Google, Tesla, Apple, are dropping formal degree requirements. They care less about where you studied and more about what you can actually do. Skills like coding, digital marketing, data science, and blockchain development are being taught outside universities faster, cheaper, and often better than traditional four-year degrees. Micro-credentials, online certificates, and skill-specific boot camps are rising in popularity. Why spend $100,000 and four years on a degree when you can learn the same skills in six months? By 2050, education could mean building a custom toolkit of skills from dozens of different sources, not a single diploma from one institution. Part four, personalized AI-driven learning. Imagine an AI-powered learning assistant that knows you better than any teacher ever could. It tracks your strengths, your weaknesses, your interests, even your mood. It adapts lessons in real time, if you struggle with calculus but excel at creative writing, your education path adjusts instantly to support and challenge you. These AI mentors could recommend books, articles, simulations, and projects personalized to your needs at any time of day, in any format you prefer. And it doesn't stop at content. AI could coach your emotional intelligence, teach resilience, and help develop your leadership skills things traditional education struggles to address. In 2050, learning could be so hyper-personalized that no two students will ever follow the same exact path. Part five, the death of traditional classrooms. Picture a world where there are no schools, only networks. Physical schools could give way to decentralized learning hubs. Students would meet virtually or in pop-up locations to collaborate on projects, solve real-world problems, and mentor each other. Learning might become a lifelong on-demand process. You'll constantly update your skills, adapting to whatever new challenges the future throws at you. Instead of graduating once at 22 and working the same job for 40 years, people might graduate hundreds of times over their lifetime, each time reskilling for the next chapter of their careers. The rigid idea of school ends at 18 or 22 inches will vanish. In its place, continuous flexible education that evolves with you. Part six, global access, but greater inequality. On the surface, technology democratizes education. Anyone, anywhere with an internet connection can access world-class courses, but the flip side is more complicated. 
The digital divide between those with access to cutting edge tech and those without could create a new form of educational inequality. If you're wealthy, you'll have AI tutors, VR classrooms, and endless learning opportunities. If you're poor, you might still be stuck with underfunded, outdated systems. Unless we actively work to close this gap, the future of education could amplify existing inequalities, not erase them. Part seven, will teachers still exist? Here's one of the biggest questions. Will human teachers still have a role? The answer is yes, but their role will be transformed. Teachers will shift from lecturers to mentors, coaches, and guides. They'll help students navigate information overload, develop critical thinking, and grow emotional intelligence. In a world flooded with data, human connection, empathy, and mentorship will become even more valuable. Rather than being the sole source of knowledge, teachers of 2050 will help students find, filter, and apply knowledge. They'll teach how to ask better questions, not just memorize answers. Part eight, new learning models, the future. We might see several futuristic models of education are already being discussed, tried project-based learning. Instead of classes, students work on real world projects from day one, designing sustainable cities, coding apps, solving humanitarian problems. Gamified learning, education through immersive games with challenges, leaderboards, and real-time feedback. Global classrooms, students from around the world collaborating daily, breaking national borders in education. Neural learning. Experiments in brain-computer interfaces could allow direct uploading of certain types of information into the brain, speeding up learning beyond what's currently possible. These might sound like science fiction today, but so did online universities 20 years ago. Part nine. So will schools exist in 2050? Here's the answer you've been waiting for. Schools as buildings, maybe. Schools as institutions, absolutely but schools as they exist today, one size fits all, rigid, standardized, those might not survive. Education in 2050 will likely be decentralized, lifelong, personalized, and deeply embedded into every part of life, not separated into a single stage of youth. The new schools will be networks, communities, mentorship programs, AI collaborations, and real world laboratories for creativity and innovation. Final thought, the future of education isn't about replacing schools, it's about reimagining them. And the choices we make today will shape whether that future is empowering, equitable, and extraordinary, or just another missed opportunity. If you found this video eye-opening, hit that like button, subscribe to the Gadget Grid, and turn on notifications. We've got more deep dives into the future of tech, society, and innovation coming soon. And tell me in the comments, if you could design your dream school for 2050, what would it look like?